In this video, we're going to take a look at using differentiation. So the main idea behind this video is how do we go from the displacement s to the velocity v, and how do we go from the velocity v to the acceleration a. Well, the way we do that is through using differentiation. So to go down like this, we use differentiation. So if I have the displacement s, and I differentiate that with respect to t, I get the velocity. So v is equal to ds by dt, okay? And I can repeat that with the velocity then. So if I differentiate v with respect to t, I get the acceleration. So a is equal to dv by dt, which would be the same as the second derivative then of the displacement with respect to t. That'd be d squared s over dt squared, okay? So that's the main idea behind this video. What I'm going to do now is pose this question to you. So how would we go backwards then? Okay. So how would we go backwards here? So if I have the acceleration, how do I get to the velocity? And if I have the velocity, how do we get to the displacement then? Okay. So we'll take a look at that in a future video. But for now, that's all we need for using differentiation. So let's take a look at a practice question using this concept. Taking a look at this question here, now we have a few different parts to it. So what I've got to begin with is a particle p that's moving in a straight line. At time t seconds, the displacement s meters from O is given by this cubic here. So for part a, we're asked to show that the velocity of the particle can be expressed in this form here. Okay. So where do we begin with this? Well, if we do s, v, and a to get us started here, Remember, we need to differentiate to go down. So if I've got the displacement, if I differentiate that with respect to t, I get the velocity. And if I differentiate the velocity with respect to t, I then get the acceleration. So what I've got here to begin with is the displacement s. So if I differentiate that with respect to t, that would give me the velocity v there. Okay. So v here is equal to ds by dt. Okay. So what I need to do now is differentiate here s with respect to t. So v is equal to, so just differentiate here term by term. So I'm going to get 4 times 3, which is 12. Reduce the power by 1, so I get 12t squared. I've then got minus 3t squared, so I'm going to get minus 3 times 2, which is minus 6. So I get minus 6t there. And I've got plus t here, so if I differentiate that, I just get plus 1, okay? Which we can already see. So therefore, what we've got now is v here. So all I need to do is identify the values of m and n. So m here would be 12. And n in that case will be minus 6. Okay. And there we have it. So that's our solution to pi a. Part b is a hence or otherwise. So we're going to use our solution to pi a to answer part b. So as soon as we see this phrase of initial velocity, remember we're looking at t equals 0. So all I need to do now is substitute t equals 0 into the velocity here. So in that case, v will be equal to 12 lots of 0 squared minus 6 lots of 0 plus 1, which in that case, this would be 0, this will be 0, and I get left with 1 there. Okay, so because we're talking about the velocity here, that will be meters per second. Okay, so that's our solution to part b. For part C then, pretty similar to part A, we're asked to show that the acceleration of the particle can be expressed in this form here. So same idea here, if we've got the velocity, I need to differentiate that now one more time with respect to t, and that will give me A. So A is equal to dv by dt here. So in that case, I'm going to differentiate v here with respect to t. So I'm going to get 12 times 2, which is 24. Reduce the power by 1, so I get 24t there. I then got minus 6t, so that would give me minus 6. And this constant here, when you, once you differentiate that, that would become 0. So what I get then is a, a is equal to 24t minus 6. So in that case, x is equal to 24. And y is minus 6. Okay, so that's our solution to c. And D, again, similar to part B here, is a hence or otherwise. Find the acceleration of P when T is equal to 2. So all I'm going to do here now is substitute T equals 2 into the acceleration. So A is equal to 24 times 2 minus 6. So what I'm going to get here is 48 minus 6, which would give me 42 there. 
Okay. And we're talking about acceleration here, so it will be meters per second per second there. Okay. And there we have it. So that's our solution to that question. And that brings us to the end of this video on using differentiation. In the next video, we're going to take a look at maxima and minima problems.